every morning, like I get up and I gotta do an impossible thing before three. You know, that's like, that's hard. So I'm an educator. Started out as a classroom teacher, but now I spend my time all over the country and the world and the city meeting with teachers and kids about books and literacy. We still haven't figured out how we want to distribute resources equitably. We still haven't figured out, you know, what testing means for kids. You know, I see it in Brooklyn and then I cross the bridge and I see it in Manhattan. And then I cross another bridge and I see it in Queens. And so it's not necessarily struggle as much as it's empathy fatigue. You know, one of the things that I think about, like when you're carrying this much weight, all that rage got to go somewhere, you know? And so for me, it's like biking. My day is bookended by these twin bike rides, you know, one a meditation and the other a reflection, you know, and it really, for me, it centers me. You know, to be able to go over the bridge and to see the sun setting and to be reminded that there's possibility of another day, that's really exciting because I got to get home and I got to make dinner, you know, and I got to be present, I got to be dad. A perfect Sunday morning is getting the kids up, getting some breakfast into them and just like taking off. You know, being able to leave my house in Brooklyn and get the kids to Central Park on a bike. Being able to leave my house in Brooklyn and ride past Radio City or ride across the Manhattan Bridge and watch the birds fly over. Like all of that is dream for a kid. You know, getting my kids away from screens, away from computers for a while and to be able to breathe in this beautiful city, absolutely. Priority has been there every step of the way as we've climbed out of this pandemic you know, that when I think about how I make my happiness and how I make my community, priority's been a big part of that. You know, I can't do what I do without my bike rides. You know, I can't do what I do without kids, without families, without communities. But for me, cycling is what ties all of it together.